Hi, this is Paula Gloria. I'm the producer of The Whole Tooth and also the director of the Concordia Foundation. I welcome you to part two of this interview with Swami Kaleshwar. This interview is done by Alan Steinfeld of New Realities. Swami Kaleshwar is a remarkable young 27-year-old manifesting saint. Swami Kaleshwar was only 14 years old when he met his master, Shirdi Sai Baba, who's been dead since 1918. Shirdi Sai Baba is a remarkable saint. He was a remarkable saint living in India. He produced many miracles and he's still highly regarded today. Swami Kaleshwar's claim that he had seen him was met with skepticism at first. Now if you do the math at 27 and when he was 14 years old, there's no way that he could have met his master on this dimension. The interview will start with a yagya. A yagya is a fire ceremony that's a traditional ceremony that's done to bring those who are participating in the yagya more into alignment with the laws of nature so that their desires and aspirations can be met with greater success. <laughs> What's the purpose of the fire ceremonies, the yagyas? The yagyas, it purifies, it brings high positive energy in them. Unbelievable positive energy. Uh -huh. What their desires in their life, it will start to fulfill. The desires will come true. It brings a good fortune. Because of the power of the fire. Power of the fire. They're doing a lot of prayers on the certain person and name, the chanting and chanting and chanting. Mm -hmm. The command on the fire mm -hmm. is one of the God mm -hmm. creation. Mm -hmm. Through that God creation, based on that, they're sending unbelievable blessing to certain person, certain soul. Please bless the soul. Heal the soul. So fire has a particular property different well, than... the God property, God treasure. But what's different th from fire and water? What's the difference in properties? For That's the God energies. It's a both of his like a God gifts the world. But we use fire different than water. So when, what would you, you know, how do you distinguish between the different God properties of fire, of wa or water, air? It's the five elements. I teach you unbelievable information on the five elements, earth, sky, water, fire, and air. Can you give us a little bit of this unbelievable teaching? Why not? This, through the five elements, the entire creation has happened. If any one element less, it's highly impossible to balance the energy. The Vedic tradition, they based on the five elements and they took the energy. Suppose they're doing Abhishek, they're taking the water, they're purifying. And when you go any temple, they give them some water to you. It means highest healing water, you're taking the water. You feel so happy and relaxed. They did already huge prayers on that. They do the campfire with the fire, mm -hmm. do harati, and they bring you in front of fire to you. You touches the fire and you touches. You are receiving that fire, that light. Right. It means you are receiving some blessing. And the and the air, the the power of the air. They are releasing, the priests. They are releasing unbelievable prayers on you, uh -huh. in the air. It flows wherever you are. It vibrates in the waves. It's, it finds you, it started to work on you. And the earth, the power of the earth? Where you, of course, you are already you are on earth. <laughs> the vibration goes. You are under the umbrella of the sky. And the fifth one? Sky. Of oh, sky, the umbrella. You are umbrella of the sky. You are in this planet. You, if you are on another planet, it's impossible on par to send high energy. You are in this under, under the umbrella, it's very easy to help through the God prayers. You know, you have American students and Indian students. There's a difference, right? What, what's and so important to, about the West for you? West, what I see, they are huge confused. Even though they are confused, they are doing on part, they are really hard work. What I'm seeing, they need more guidelines. The real truthful information and they have to stand one, whatever they really impress, any master in their life, they have to stay, they have to stand there. 
simply they have to do from their home. They no need to going on in the world to search for the power, search for the God. Their body is the big temple. Their soul is the God. They have to see themselves. They don't need to visit any church, any temple, any country, the rest of their time. They have to see themselves as the to God. To see themselves. They can sit in the home, they can start to meditate. Because you know, in the, what I notice with the Indian uh, devotees, they're very uh, devotional. And Americans, not devotional. They're, they want more of their power that you have. But, but you're saying they don't need to, to do anything except meditate. And, once if they received something from the master, any place from the world, they have to sit and they have to practice it. Mm -hmm. If his master, what he can do, excuse me, he will plant the seed in the ground, then does he done his duty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you have to, through your practice, you have to put everyday water and to grow it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without practicing, it doesn't help. What the people doing nowadays, even the master put it, the planted seed, Every few days once they're digging and they're watching the seed again, they're burying it. Mm -hmm. Again, they're digging and they're burying. Oh, Swami, you, you gave a certain prayer. I did a six months, nothing happening. Again, stopping a little while. Again, they're practicing, stopping, practicing. It doesn't help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had to do on process. The energy, they had to take off. Yeah, so I, this is what's great about you. You're a modern Swami that has these processes, and you also... Faith and practice is so important, and patience. But these times are also different than the ancient Vedic times. A little different. Nowadays, if the people started to open their heart, the God energy started to flow unbelievably. Mm -hmm. There's a God, God greatest gift to the world. Mm -hmm. We can see Ramakrishna Paramahamsa life history. Within 12 years, he's seen the Mother Divine. Is it possible to live where everyone has the same power that you have tapped into? Is that...? I have only the God power, uh -huh. God blessing. Every person has the same qualifications. Everybody can reach that. Yeah. Why not? Uh -huh. So you, you don't want to create devotees, you want to create masters. Of course. And how do you do that? Devotee, it means open their heart mm. to the God. No need to follow me, no need to follow some masters, some gurus. It's okay. I have huge love on my Shirdi Baba, my master. I have huge love. I really like him in my heart, but I'm following my heart. But in the Indians, they like to put up your picture, other teachers' pictures, and they worship the picture. And they lose, from Western point of view, a part of their own power. I won't agree, but they have huge love, they will follow with their heart. So the, my idea is to become more like what you demonstrate. To what do you mean? To become more like you, more, more, they can give more blessings. No need to become like me. Why can't the people can become more than me? More than you. Why not? Yeah. They have to try more than me. No, you're a great example. You have a lot of love and compassion. Sure, of course. I always, in a classroom, the teacher, always thinks my students has to become unbelievable successful. Mm -hmm. If the student got huge marks, this master never go jealousy. Right. Of course, the master loves it. Oh, I'm so proud of my dear boy, he did a great job. Mm -hmm. In the elementary school teacher, he teach alphabets. The same teacher, he cannot teach the... Mm -hmm. You want to go beyond surety, right? Because that's your, you want to be greater than surety. I never tried. I experienced the God energy. I'm melting in the huge love with Him. Mm. No need to taste the entire the ocean water. Wherever we go, ocean water is ocean water. The God energy is energy. Well, I would like to melt in the love too. Through the meditation, like a big sucking high peace and joy. Highest willpower. Through the willpower, I'm giving healings, I'm demonstrating a lot of lectures and teachings. Mm. I thought, First, I have to comprehend myself, then the huge love to develop, then only I can give anything. Mm. Did you do a lot of hard work in other lifetimes? Did you, um, do you remember? What, what do you remember? Much time always sitting in the meditations. So there's benefits to being 
around other saints, other high people, right? Because you're mm -hmm. in the energy field of this. The circumstance is very important in the pr beginning stage people. Suppose around you 10 people meditators. It's uh, unbelievable, helpful to you. You can also can sit in much time and meditate. You can discuss with them. Mm -hmm. That's why this ashrams, this why gathering and sitting and talking about the God and listening, coming to understand. Mm -hmm. If they have no time, it's okay. They can take one simple prayer, whatever they, sim they like, favorite God or master, they can simply, their heart is open to them. They can meditate just thinking on Him. So you're from a normal family, right? You're from an ordinary mother, father. And so what do they think? You've created a beautiful ashram here, beautiful people to help you, message. What the you beginning stages, my parents also, they thought I'm a hysteria patient. <laughs> Entire my friends, the teachers, and the society, they put me away. I'm simply sitting under the trees and meditating, always absenting the college. Uh -huh. I'm not a good student in the school and college, always sitting in the temples and meditations. Mm -hmm. Entire society treated me as I'm a psychiatric patient. Right. So, after later on, when I started giving talks and giving the healings, helping the people uh -huh. who was really in the problems, then they started to know who I am, what is my abilities. Uh -huh. Then the thousands of people started to come and visit me and they created a beautiful asha. Hmm. Now thousands of students is around me to knowing a lot of information about my spiritual knowledge. Hmm. Do you have um, emotions? Do you have you know, personal love, personal... Do you know, how do you deal with, you, with that? If, suppose if I felt so angry on somebody, Yeah. I go myself in room, take shower, and I go sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, do you have any personal um, love for people, you know? Of course. I love you, and I, I love know. Anya, and I love Paula, everybody. <laughs> I know, but, but as a combined, you know, people get together, marry, boyfriend, girl, anything you want like that, you... My parents are trying on me. <laughs> <laughs> if you involve in the deeper level, I never care on my personal relationship. Uh -huh. I never focus on too much on that. Just like you say, it's too much jungle. But if they find you a nice wife, would you marry? I don't think so. But maybe someone who totally agrees with your work, like um, with Ramakrishna. And I don't think so. No? Why? I don't want to, to be, to depend on somebody in one level. Mm. I want to only depend on the God. In my level, I love the woman, if I married a woman, it means 50% giving responsibility to sharing everything. But I think it's possible they can find a woman that's at your level that is totally devoted to okay, God. Okay, you have any daughter? <laughs> I'll find somebody for you. That's totally where you're at. And you can... Okay, show me. Then I'll try. I... Okay. What's near? No. So what do you say to your parents? So they must be upset. Of course, they have huge desires on me. Why I'm day by day going huge responsibilities. Of course, every parent they have huge. Right. They don't know who you are, do they, your parents? One level they know. They do. One level. He's a little great soul. He's little not understanding person to us, the feeling. He's beyond our thoughts. Mm. Because of from the childhood days they've seen me. Mm -hmm. They can't imagine how it's going fast mm. in front of their eyes. Hey. Uh -huh. Jesus said, you're never a prophet in your own town. You know? <laughs> it's hard to where your family see you as um, a teacher. Always, of course, I'm always child to her. Yeah. yeah. To them. In the books, Even though yeah. I'm a big man, yeah. I'm always son to them. Mm. You understand? Yeah. But it's... It's also ego, in a way, that they hold on to that image of you, I mean... It's their love, they have huge rights in the world, even more than the God, because they gave this body. Yeah. They have 100% rights, whatever they want to do on me. Yeah. Then the God. Right. But, 
But you know, Jesus said, Who, whatever you are, leave your father and mother and follow me. Follow the God. And it might be harder in India to do that. In Indian tradition, it says follow mother and father first. Okay. Give the respect to them. Then it's, you can understand the God. Do you do miracles for them? So they understand? Sometimes. And do it's, they? It's like, it's not good. It's not good to do because... Because it's important that I they... Want, okay, it's they want their love to flow on me, oh. whatever they want to do on me. I don't want to make them to change their lifestyle. It's very hard, painful. Mm. Like a big operation doing on yeah. them. Psychologically, it's not good. Just It's just to leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Because in the book, in one of the books that came out, you t there was a story about how you were meditating as a child and your father opened the door, there was a huge tiger you materialized. And um, how were you able to explain that to your father? <laughs> he never asked completely, I never told that. He's silent, I'm silent too. <laughs> what would you say? How did you get it? How were you able to... It's the energy, the angels. The angels brought a tiger for you. Just a fraction of a few minutes, a few seconds, to showing. If I'm doing any huge channeling, some high cosmic, the negative forces never interrupts. The negative forces never interrupt. We if any negative forces to come to interrupt, the positive force will show in a different way to the lesson, mm -hmm. to kick out. So, the father, your father didn't understand. And that didn't understand. It. He's silent. Okay, he's doing some high level channels. I have to be silenced. He understand. He go, he went. So they know, and they don't want to admit who you, the power that is possible with you. But you know, yet they're such good people and they want to know God so much. Mm -hmm. It seems like a conflict, right? They can't see me as a God. Right. They want, normally, every parent, 90% in society, they want their own son back, not to having high, they have a little fear what this society, what this energy will do to their son. It's natural. So, a lot of people, negativity and stress is coming. But more faith in God would create less fear. Mm -hmm. They have huge faith on the God. On one level, they feel really so thankful to the God, such a great son you give to us. Yes. One level, they have the same fear. Mm. It's natural. Mm. Yeah. Are you getting more teachings all the time? Or you have reached a limit of, of what you... Have? One part, I'm a little tired with teachings. You, what do you want to do? All that I teach. Hundreds, thousands of hours. <laughs> what do you want to do instead of teach? What would you like to Just do? Just simply make everybody meditate what I teach already, uh -huh. learning it. No need to, again, to grind the same powder and same powder and same powder. Well, maybe we could do special healing videos where you just put the video, people learn, and, and you can retire. I felt all that I retired. You're only 20, what, seven? I'm 27. Oh, uh, maybe you have many, many years of teaching. I did it like a hundred years hard work in a matter of four years. You really? Is it true, Diana? It's very true. Well, you're working all the time. 18 hours per day, 16 hours, 16 yeah. to 20 hours, Yeah. always. But maybe you're evolving to a new level. Maybe all you need to do is look at someone and they get it. <laughs> is that possible? When the students really did a huge hard work, finally I can give them. To give, I can work for them, suck energy and just like to transfer. But are you learning more? I'm also a student. Uh -huh. I'm not great, I'm also a student, I'm learning. Many technology, spirituality. What's the what's the last thing you learned? The latest things, la latest technology. Just learning unbelievable prayers, mm -hmm. connecting higher level, mm -hmm. cosmic power. Well, how can I know God more? I mean, I meditate. I you have to suck huge peace in you. I have to suck in huge peace. peace. You have to melt huge peace. No more monkey mind thoughts, kicking the thoughts away. Simply putting your body without thoughts. And then they get peace. Like aware sleep. Aware sleep. Meditation called like aware sleep. Uh huh. Yes, I. I, I you are sleeping. You don't know. Right. But you are meditating. But you know, you are meditating. You are in the inner sense. 
100% you know you are meditating. Uh -huh. But you can't hear anything outside of the, ma the sounds. Right. And you lend your energies to people to help them mm -hmm. go further. Mm -hmm. So if people are sitting in meditation, they need to be more aware of deeper states of mm -hmm. mind. And, and your processes help that? Mm -hmm. Which ones help the best? I give a lot of prayers. Suppose a Gayatri Mantra, Om Namo Namah Shivaya, the personal small Bijakshras, mm -hmm. then keeping on doing on the Bijakshras to bring in the vibrations in you. And you do personal healings on people, right? Yes. What do you do? Where do you, what do you tap into? Just I touches their third eye, one power spot in their body. And I started, excuse me, and I started to meditate certain prayers to thinking on the God, really try, try to help this soul. Let's say for you, when you met Shirley at 14, you were shocked. You weren't even aware. Something opened up inside you. Is it possible for everyone to... The negative feelings on him. Hey, who is this guy? At the time, my heart is not open to miracle. Only love, but he showed the miracle. I felt so nervous. <laughs> To be honest, it's not important to show in the miracles. It's important to, through the love, to suck the people, to spread the love information, to give the love, take the love and give the love, flowing from you and from them. It has to be cycled. So you still connect to teachers, your master? Mm -hmm. your... Of course, always. What's your connection to Shirdi now? Huge love flowing from him. I always feel he's with me. He will take care of me. He's completely taking care of me. Are you getting a message from Shirdi now to speak? What I talk, everything is Shirdi messages. Mm. Already. Mm. I have strong confidence and a strong, positive, strong feeling. 90% of my students can become huge masters in the world. Unbelievable, great, strong, spiritual commanding to open their people's hearts, remove their darkness. It's very important. Mm. You agree? Yeah, I think that's a great blessing that you really, you really work with people. So what does he want you to do to really bring something special here. My main advice, one part, they have to recognize what they are doing. Suppose something the person doing, just he's keeping on doing and doing and doing. He has to wait and he has to think what he is doing. Every person he has to think himself what he is doing every day what he made progress and he has to think about his future what is important he has to take the guidelines he has to follow with his heart through his heart the inner master the heart is always gives the unbelievable guidelines but he has to think himself what he's doing every day like five minutes programming or every week ten minutes himself he has to be alone himself Okay, wait a minute, what I'm doing, either whatever his business is or his spirituality, dealing with his wife or dealing with his spiritual business partners, a lot of stress around him. He has to think very deeply before what he's doing. That's the main advice, otherwise he will create himself big hell around him. If he's not following his inner master, it's a big, he'll be in a huge danger. So people really need to follow the inner master. But you know, you have had some kind of divine grace come to you. I and mean, then you also give people power objects. What is the purpose of that? Power objects this means only blessed with some, suppose, my master and his master, my master cloth. Suppose, Shirdi Baba when he's alive, his cloth, the usual cloth. I have, my heart is open to him. If somebody gave his cloth, his dress, I feel so honored and so blessed. I treat that as a, a power object. 
much connected to me, always using and keeping with me and sleeping with me. It's like a flowing the blessing. But you also had, um, you gave birth, you, in your body you created a rock or a Shiva Lingam and you, then you coughed this out of your body and then you gave it to one of your people. What's the, what's the purpose of that? It's a giving one of the blessing to the world to be strong, so confident. Feels like there's some special energy happens when you give this out, you cough it up out of your body as a solid rock, and, and that's miraculous. It's, you seen that when I'm giving? I, I saw it in the, in, the, in the dark a little bit, but I saw the result, I saw the rock. How you felt the energy? I felt it was very high. High. High um, upliftment. First of all, because it seems impossible, so it's, it breaks through a belief system. But that's what my experience was. What was your experience in doing this? It's a Shirdi Baba energy flowing in me, then 90% he's doing creating that energy, and uh, I'm releasing that. What's it feel like to have a rock being created in your body, a Shiva Linga? It's a big fun. Is it? Yeah, it's a big fun, like a big challenge in the spiritual divine system. What's it feel like? You, you... A little something hard and painful, <laughs> but it's a big challenging to release that. When you release it, just, um, something happened planetarily, you know, the energy of the planet is somehow shifted. It's a huge blessing to the world, mm. one part, who really connected to the God and his, his energy really believes it possible, mm -hmm. then they'll automatically receive the blessing. Mm. Otherwise, it's like in front of the blind person, exp giving the beautiful explanation on the beautiful woman, to showing a beautiful in front of him, it's a meaningless. Mm. The heart must be open to anything. It means not people to create a lot of mess here, in their hearts. In the ancient periods, the holy people, they really received huge criticism from the public. How it possible the miracles, who demonstrated the miracles, they started to think it's a demon's nature, it's a devil energy. I completely disagree with that. Jesus did the unbelievable miracles when he is alive. Right. Shirdi Baba did. Ramakrishna Paramsa did some. Many saints they did. It's not like giving ring, ash, it's not big miracle. It's like a chakra, it's like a magic, spiritual magic. But to creating the vacant their energy. Nowadays we can see the Jesus, unbelievable powerful soul. He hooked the entire planet. That's a big miracle. That's a huge soul. He caught entire, he took, take care of entire the kingdom of the planet. Mm. That's a big miracle. I've been talking to a beautiful teacher from India, Swami Kaleshwar. He'll be coming to New York, so I will let everyone know. Thank you for watching. This is Alan Steinfeld, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you, Hala.